Selecting the right e-commerce platform to run your dropshipping business on can be a very difficult decision to make. That is because there are so many different platforms that you can dropship on with so many benefits, pros and cons. That's why in this video, I'm going to make this easier for you guys to understand what are the best dropshipping platforms that we can use today with their benefits and advantages for us dropshippers. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, glad to have you joining us here today to learn in this video about the best e-commerce platforms to use for your dropshipping business. For those of you who don't know, if you're new here, that's completely fine. And a dropshipping platform is where you're actually creating your dropshipping website. So you wanna sell products and you're getting them from dropshipping suppliers, but you need to sell them somewhere. So that somewhere is your dropshipping platform. One second before we get to the best platforms that you can use, if you have not done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, let's go ahead and start with the list of the best e-commerce dropshipping platforms for your business. Starting with the first one on the list, this is one of my personal favorites and that is eBay. eBay supports a dropshipping business model and thousands and thousands of dropshippers have been using eBay as their number one dropshipping selling platform. Now, most beginner dropshippers like to start on eBay because they are very user friendly. It's very easy to start. All you need to do is head over to eBay, click on register, register for your free account and start listing your items. Now today on eBay, if you're signing up for their managed payment option solution, then you're going to get 250 free listings to start listing from day one. If it's a new seller account, you may have boundaries of seller limits, about five to 10 items to list and up to $500 of listing and selling together. But you will be able to open those limits and increase them as time goes on and you start selling and shipping out your products. Besides that, it's very easy to get started on eBay. As I mentioned, you just need to register your account, start listing items, and you're getting free organic traffic, which means as long as you've got a good product title and it's something that people are looking for, then your shoppers, you're, you're going to get a warm audience to see your listing enter it and purchase your listing when they search for it on eBay's search engine. So it's actually very, very simple. And while there are promotion tools on eBay, you do not necessarily have to use them and you don't have to pay any traffic sources in order to bring traffic to your eBay store and get people to start buying and for you to start profiting. So it doesn't cost money to start selling on eBay. Only when you wanna start listing more than 250 items in your store, you'll have to go for an eBay store subscription, which starts at a very, very low price. And the more you go on, the more listings you wanna have, the bigger your store subscription needs to be. But the best part about dropshipping from eBay is that you do not need any initial investment to start. When you'll start getting your first sales on eBay, eBay may put your payments on hold until they get to know you the seller better until they start seeing that you ship out your items so you may have to pay out for your products for about the first month maybe so depending on how many orders you have you may have to put in 50 100 maybe 200 dollars to pay for your orders until you start getting those payouts from ebay and then you'll start using that cash flow to pay for your new orders and keep withdrawing the profit to your bank account so drop shipping on ebay one of my personal favorites that's why i went on for a couple of minutes talking about them their seller account started at a very low price of about eight dollars a month or five dollars if you're doing it annually and like i said from then on you can get so many listings and with so many listings with the right amount of product research you'll definitely make more sales and more profit as time goes on so that pretty much sums up ebay pretty quickly and if you guys want to learn how to drop ship on ebay just check out our blog page we have a full article on how to drop ship on ebay step-by-step -step beginner's guide it will definitely help you guys out and by the way guys if you do not have the time or you don't know how to enter our blog page and search for these articles everything that i'm going over in this video i'll leave a link to a blog article below so you can go over it one more time again and also get all of the links to all of these extra blog articles that i'm talking about that will help you guys more in your dropshipping journey so ebay is number one on the list coming up num um, number two and this is another one of my personal favorites it's facebook marketplace now this has been trending like crazy in the last year and because we noticed this trend we also support facebook marketplace dropshipping on autoDS. so if you're using autoDS, you can automate your price 
and your stock and importing your products pretty easily using our Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper and AutoDS. So if you're a US citizen and you've got a social security number and you can pass SSN verification with Facebook, you can definitely start dropshipping on Facebook. As long as you have a US IP address, just log into the marketplace. You already have a Facebook account. Go to your marketplace, start creating your listings. And if you want, you can also connect to AutoDS to really automate your business and help you scale really easily. But if you want to try it out without automation first, that's also perfectly fine. See that it works well and then understand how high you can scale when you will start using AutoDS automation tools, but that's not the point. The Facebook marketplace has started trending really, really high in the last year. And the numbers that we're seeing, the sales that we're seeing is increasing as time goes on. Now, one of the best things about the Facebook marketplace is that there is little to no competition there. So in order to sell products, in order to be able to make those sales, all you got to do is head over to dropshipping suppliers websites, list their best selling items on your Facebook marketplace account. And you will notice that many of those items will actually start to sell. The only thing that you need is to enable shipping options when you are creating your listing. What shipping options enables is all 50 states in the United States to be able to see your Facebook marketplace listing and then anyone will be able to buy it. Facebook will give you your payouts within a couple of days to a couple of weeks depending if you provide a tracking information that Facebook can read and if so you'll get your payments even quicker. So once again the biggest benefits of the Facebook marketplace is that there is low to no competition. You're getting free organic traffic so just like eBay you don't have to pay any traffic sources to bring traffic to your store and have that traffic purchase the products if they're even interested in it. There are low selling fees on Facebook Marketplace. This is another great advantage that I like. You're either going to pay 5% of the transaction fee or 40 cents, whichever one is higher. That is the only fee that you're going to pay when selling on the Facebook Marketplace. So if you guys know about other dropshipping platforms, you can easily make a comparison and understand how cheap it is to sell on the Facebook Marketplace. And you don't have any selling limits on the Facebook Marketplace, so you can pretty much list as many items as you want from day one, which is much better than what eBay has to offer. So the Facebook Marketplace is definitely something that you guys need to check out. Once again, if you meet those minimum requirements of being a US citizen and living in the United States, States. If you guys want to learn how to dropship on the Facebook marketplace, we've got a full tutorial once again. So use the link once again below the video. And inside this article, as you see over here, below the Facebook marketplace explanation, you'll have a link to the blog article of how to dropship on Facebook marketplace. Definitely check that out if you're interested in doing so. And we've also got a live Facebook marketplace case study on our YouTube channel, where I showed you guys everything that I'm doing on my Facebook marketplace dropshipping account from day one, where I'm getting my products from, how I'm sourcing them, how I'm listing them, which ones of those items sold, how much I'm profiting, how I handle customer service, and so many more things. So check that out if you need some social proof on how Facebook Marketplace dropshipping works. The third dropshipping platform that I want to talk about is Shopify. Now, Shopify has been around for a while. They've been here since 2004. They allow you to create a fully customizable website with your own domain name and everything once again fully customizable www.yourstore.com and all of your customers that you're going to gain on Shopify are going to be your customers that you can later use for email marketing and so many other things when compared to other marketplaces like Facebook, eBay, Amazon, and so forth, where they do not give you all of the customers' details. They actually keep it for themselves. I'm talking mainly about their email addresses. And this is one of the things that I love about Shopify. When a customer gives you their email address, whether to subscribe to your newsletter or because they would like to purchase an item from your store, once you get that email address, this data is worth so much money when you have a few hundred and then a few thousand of them because once again you're going to use the, their emails to promote using email marketing and there are so many other marketing methods that are also available on Shopify but let's take it back a little bit. Shopify is a fully customizable website. You can list as many listings as you want from day one on Shopify because no one is telling you what to do there. You can do pretty much anything you want as long as you're following you know laws and regulations and things that are normal when running an e-commerce online business. And one of the things also that I love about Shopify is that no technical skills are required. You are creating your own website from A to Z, but you really don't need any technical skills in order to do so. And you can still get a highly converting, very good looking and professional website. For those of you who want to get a full detailed explanation of how to start dropshipping on Shopify, everything that you need to do from day one, how to find products, targeting your audiences, marketing your products, creating your Shopify store, all of your policies, and everything that goes in between. We have a full A to Z Shopify course, once again, 100% free, 
all you have to do is start watching there's about 40 lessons there and once again you'll have the link to it using the blog article that i talked about in the link below this video as you see right here free shopify dropshipping course from AutoDS, and this will really help you guys get started from the ground up even if you have zero skills before you start watching this course after watching it you'll have a full understanding of how to run create and manage a profitable and successful shopify dropshipping store now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of shopify the first one is that it actually requires a budget to start so when compared to ebay and the facebook marketplace that we talked about where you don't need an initial investment here you do need to have one and it can even start from 500 to 1000 dollars because on shopify you don't have any free organic traffic this means that once your store goes live and your products are in your store and you created a professional homepage and everything looks really good and you branded your store and did everything the right way still nobody knows that your store exists and this is where you're going to have to start bringing traffic and paying external traffic sources to bring traffic to your website this is one of the reasons why email marketing is so important because once you get enough customers enough customers who gave you their email addresses and you have a long list of email addresses of customers who have shown an interest in your store brand or shop or products then what you can do is start sending out email marketing promotions this doesn't cost you any money because if you're the one writing the email and you're sending them the promotion you're not paying anyone else to do it you have your own data of customers that you want to target but in other cases if you don't have an email marketing list yet and you don't if you're getting started you're going to have to use other traffic sources to bring traffic one of the most popular ways is facebook ads once again the shopify course will teach you everything about facebook ads from day one how to start a facebook ad campaign how to target the right audiences how to create great videos for your drop shipping ads and so much more but this is one of the things that you'll have to do in the beginning on Shopify in order to bring traffic to your website. Another way is influencer marketing platform. So you can also use influencers and hire them to create a post or a shout out about your Shopify store, your brand or the items that you're selling. That's another great way to bring traffic to your website. So you can also use Google ads and many other methods, but those are some of the best marketing methods that you can use for Shopify. But that is one of the things you're going to have to have a starting budget. On the other hand, Shopify is scalable much much more than ebay from the start because you don't have any selling limits the only thing that you need to worry about is getting traffic to your store showing your products and your store to the right target audiences which is definitely possible with the right amount of budget practice and targeting which you will learn from the shopify course but that's the thing about shopify you need that starting budget and you need time to learn the system so shopify is number three on the list now let's move on to number four number four is amazon now a lot of people are selling on amazon and if you guys think that amazon is a seller you're wrong it's it's a huge marketplace with with thousands and thousands of sellers now these sellers are manufacturing their products many from using sources like uh, alibaba to find wholesale manufacturing suppliers who manufacture the products for them ship them to amazon's fba warehouses and then the seller sells it to you either using their third-party logistics or using amazon's fba service which is much more practical for the seller and for the buyer so on amazon you can actually be an amazon seller and you don't have to buy any inventory from any supplier on alibaba you can actually drop ship on amazon so you can be an amazon seller sell products on amazon without having to hold any inventory which most sellers do on amazon of course amazon completely supports drop shipping and one of the biggest surprises that i have for you guys here is that soon this year in 2022 AutoDS is going to roll out amazon also as a drop shipping platform so while i'm recording this video today we support ebay shopify and the facebook marketplace and wix is going to be added very soon and right after that amazon so so I have a good feeling that it's going to be this year. Hopefully it will be. And you guys will be able to scale your businesses so much using Amazon. So with Amazon, you're getting organic traffic pretty much like eBay. So when someone searches for, for something on Amazon, they're here to buy. So it's a warm audience and they'll get to your listing if you're using the same keywords that they are searching for. So you've got a large amount of existing buyers, warm audiences on Amazon. You don't need any marketing budget. You can, you can run Amazon PPC, which is pay-per-click campaigns to bring more traffic to your websites but you don't need that for sales if you're catching a good trending product without too much competition and your price is good you're going to sell and you're going to sell a lot there are also no listing limits on amazon there may be category res restrictions only in the beginning but after that oh, amazon opens you up to pretty much any category that you want and they're only doing that for their own protection you can also target multiple categories when you're listing one item on amazon and it's very easy to set up your account and start listing items so stay tuned on AutoDS. see when we'll start to support 
support Amazon, and I'm sure that you're going to love automating your dropshipping business using one of the world's biggest marketplaces. Number five on the list of dropshipping platforms is Wix. Now, I just mentioned that Wix is going to be supported very, very soon on AutoDS, so maybe by the time you're watching this video, actually, I'm pretty sure by the time you're watching this video, it's already going to be supported. But Wix is another great platform to start running and managing your online business. They let you run a fully customizable website. You can list as many products as you want from day one, so easy to scale and no technical skills are required. So keep your eyes open for one of Shopify's biggest competitors because Wix is here and they're here to stay. Number six on our list of the best dropshipping platforms is WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is a plugin for WordPress. So for those of you who don't know, WordPress is a customizable tool that allows you to create a website, whether you want to create a blogging website or you want to create an online store. WooCommerce is a plugin to WordPress that allows you to easily create an online store. Now, one of the things that I love about WooCommerce the most is that it's completely free to use. It integrates really easily with WordPress. It's very customizable. And overall, they're very user-friendly, very easy to use, easy to get started, very straightforward platform. So definitely check out WooCommerce and stay tuned when we'll start using it, when we'll start automating it using AutoDS, which will make it much, much easier for you guys to automate your businesses and scale to new heights. Number seven on our list of the best dropshipping platforms is a platform called Equid. Equid is another WordPress plugin that will help you create an online store and it's free to use, user-friendly interface, mobile-friendly support, even though the other ones that I talked about also had mobile-friendly support, but this one makes it much easier and it also helps you enhance your current website. So you don't have to create a store from scratch, you can have an existing store and simply enhance it using this plugin. And we're also thinking about adding Equid to AutoDS as another supported platform where you guys can automate your dropshipping businesses with price and stock monitoring, easy price product importing, automatic orders, and so much more. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll have the developers check it out. Number eight on our list is BigCommerce. BigCommerce is another competitor to the WordPress plugins that I just talked about, offering a fully customizable website, built-in SEO optimization to help you guys rank better on Google without having to do any tedious work and a nice intuitive dashboard with all of the necessary integration settings. So once again, you're gonna have an easy time creating your dropshipping website using the integration between BigCommerce and WordPress. Number nine on the list is Walmart. Yes, you can dropship on one of the world's biggest retailers, just like Amazon, using Walmart's platform. Now for this, you will have to be a US citizen. You're gonna to have to have a US bank account and pass verification, pretty much like the Facebook marketplace. But if you have those and you, and you sign up for Walmart for being a seller on Walmart, you're gonna have a pretty nice ride selling things that you don't have in your inventory because Walmart has once again, a lot of warm audiences that are here to buy. They enter Walmart because they wanna buy something. Just like when they enter Amazon, or when they enter your store on eBay. When someone searches for something on Google and they get to your store using Google, then there's not a high chance that this person came to buy something. He probably was just looking for some source of information. So this is the difference between getting free organic traffic from a warm audience to free organic traffic from a cold audience that probably won't buy. So Walmart is gonna help you get those free organic sales and it's a brand that people simply trust, just like Amazon. They're gonna help you get lots of high traffic to your store and you can also target multiple categories with every listing. And with over 260 million active users, you can kind of get a good idea of how many sales, how many traffic you can get when dropshipping on Walmart. And of course, Walmart supports the dropshipping business model, so you won't have any problem getting your account up and running and starting to sell trending items that people will buy from you. Number 10 on the list is Etsy. Etsy is a relatively new selling platform, newer than all of the other platforms that I just talked about, but they gain popularity really, really quickly with artists selling their art pieces and all kinds of vintage items and craft items. This is what helped Etsy grow in the first place. And today you've also got dropshippers creating their dropshipping stores and selling pretty much anything in any category using Etsy's platform, which is getting lots of popularity recently and lots of free organic traffic. So if you guys haven't heard or have heard about Etsy but haven't checked them out yet, I definitely recommend to check them out because you can definitely dropship on their platform. I've seen enough people do it and I've seen the results and it's really something that you guys should also consider checking out. Number 11 on our list, and this is the last dropshipping platform that I'm going to talk about in this video, is Magento by Adobe. For those of you who don't know, 
Adobe is a huge, huge company with, photo with Photoshop and Illustrator and all of those programs. They also have an e-commerce selling platform called Magento. They of course made this open source e-commerce platform to help you guys create your online stores and start selling with a fully customizable website, SEO friendly enhancements to help you guys boost your listings on Google and mobile device optimization, which once again will help you, you make your store mobile friendly. Now, if this is your first e-commerce dropshipping platform, Magento may be a little bit on the advanced or, or difficult or challenging side to learn how to use it. The other platforms that I mentioned in this video are much more user friendly when you're starting off. But if you already have skills or you've got good technical skills and you want to try it out, you'll be able to do much more using Magento than you will using the other platforms that I talked about in this video. So it all depends on your skills and expertise. If you think that you can handle it, definitely check out Magento. It is one of the rising e-commerce platforms to run a dropshipping business on. So that wraps up the 11 dropshipping platforms that you guys can start, register your account today and already start selling. And I've seen many great results from every one of these dropshipping platforms. So good luck choosing the best platform that's right for your business. And don't forget guys, if you tried on one platform and it didn't go so well, you have so many other platforms and also many, many dropshipping suppliers that you can dropship to and from. So if one doesn't go well, never mind, rub it off your shoulder and move on to the next dropshipping platform. This way you will find the one that's right for you and you will find your success. Once again, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so yet because this is the type of content we deliver and so much more. Thank you for watching, like this video and share it with your friends and family if you also want them to learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the future videos.